Ajak, she's with Swain here in Phoenix, Arizona, and she's yeah, going to give us yeah. a poem about this painting that's in the back. So if we can all just put our hands together, please, and welcome Amo Ajak. This poem is by a girl named Serene Awadala. A stranger in my world. Upon meeting him, stern in me an immediate concern for my safety. His eyes stared into mine, and suddenly, like the unclicking of a switch, my stomach turned with a knot of fear. I became distinctly aware of steel all around me, engulfing all my senses. The scent of metal beneath my nose. The icy glare of black pupils when my own face was reflected. The cold exterior of his posture. So indifferent I could have sworn would have turned away a coming breeze. That was how I met the stranger this foreigner to my own way of life. It is said we share a commodity by virtue of our same age, but I did not know this person. I could not find any familiarity in his face, nothing that reminded me of my own journey. I even looked for traces in my age in his face, searched desperately for a sign of common ground. No, even his face was an amalgamation of different passages of time. Around the mouth, a bit of baby fat and barely growing hair, but the eyes, they had seen things that I could not dare dream. I had heard of this kind, the evidence, the evidence of all that I was heard, that I, all that I had heard was unmistakable in his eyes. So I mistrusted him from the beginning. Now I think of the horrors that my world that in my own world I have seen. I think of my own survival and what I had done to accomplish it. Do they measure to what he's been through? Would he have survived in my world? Could I have survived in his? Or have our paths been so different that we are now as permanently separated as the rising and setting of the sun? I did not recognize this person, could not even point to his humanity, for his face didn't show it. And so I did what, I was, what I've always done to make sure I survive in this treacherous world. To strangers and natives alike, I stared back at this foreigner from another world, and I fixed a blank expression on my face, one that would rival his, grip, his glare. It was a time that he became aware of his own safety, and so I gripped my gun harder to let him know that he was indeed in danger in my world. Again, this poem is by Sabine Awadala. When I first walked into the conference room, the first thing that actually grabbed my eye was obviously the painting in the back of the wall. And um, after listening to the poem, I could actually put the two together. It is quite amazing, um, of, you know, painting as well as poem. To think that such a young girl can actually put a painting and the poem together is quite amazing. So let's go ahead and just put on a round of applause for her.